You missed this? The only reason I came back. Come on. Yeah. He's not a singer. He's not. He's a hummer, but he's not a singer. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Number six. Happy Monday. Let's all be grateful for a new day, a new week, and might I suggest going outside. Take off your shoes. Nope. Start walking around barefoot in the grass. Nope. It's called grounding or earthing. Mm. Simply planting your feet yeah. on the soil, on the earth. The idea is to absorb electrons from the earth and become one with it. Some people believe the process improves function oh, and yeah. reduces inflammation. Absolutely. Well, that's not been scientifically well, proven, but on. don't let that interfere. Uh, enjoy the new age spiritual part of it. The idea has existed for years, but thanks to the old TikTok, hashtag earthing is trending with nearly 70 million views. Mm -hmm. So get out there, let your tootsies run loose there, Robin. Yep. We'll clear out a We can do it in the 8 o'clock hour. We'll give you the whole front yard. Nope. Well, what's yeah. your problem with that? What do you have against yeah. grass? So I don't have anything against grass. I just don't like bare feet very much. Mm. You know that. So it's just a... Even your own? Even your own. Even my own. Oh, <laughs> that's a sad situation. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You, yeah. get, you, you, yeah. you yeah. get what you get, yeah. you know? Mm. Move her up on your prayer list, everybody, yeah. if you wouldn't mind. I hope that therapist is getting double time. <laughs> yeah. uh, number five, thanks to the bear on Hulu. Oh, I just started watching this. It's good. People across the world are obsessed with something we already knew was delicious, the Italian beef sandwich. It is obviously a Chicago thing, beef sliced thin with jardinera or sweet peppers dipped or dry. And according to the New York Times, restaurants in Chicago are watching sales soar. The owners of Gino's East says sales have gone from 150 sandwiches a day to 300 since the show premiered wow. in June. That's double. And Gold <laughs> Belly. <laughs> The company that delivers specialty food around the country has seen a 30% wow. increase in Italian beef sales. Oh, that looks good. That's yeah. one out of three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that yeah. is right, good, Patrick. Good math, you, are you guys on that WGN math team? Well, we, we were, started it, but yeah, it really we is not taking off. We were asked to step on a couple yeah. small errors. Mm. All right, number four, this Gilded Age mansion from the Age of Innocence just hit the market. It's 25 miles north of New York City, nine bedrooms, eight bathrooms, lots of glamour. It has a conservatory with a gazebo-like sunroof. Beautiful. Oh, oh a gazebo. boy. Not enough gazebos in real estate these days yeah. as far as I'm concerned. I wonder I what that's we going were, for. When we were looking for a place, we said we need a gazebo. Yeah. gazebo yeah. yeah. And They're nothing. Far and few between. <laughs> Pretty. All right, number three, if you think your waffle iron is just for waffles, you are so wrong. You can make all kinds of stuff in it. How about quesadillas? Oh. All right, all you do is you put the tortilla in, you fill it with your favorite ingredients there. Okay. You press the grill down. Uh, you can also try brownie mix instead of batter. Oh. You can also make some sandwiches. If you want a healthy snack, you can make that as well. Slice up some apples, mm. coat them with cinnamon spices, press them in for a minute too. You get some nice crisp apples. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Sounds You're welcome. Like All a right. party right there. Yeah. All right, number two, the human brain is not designed to stay up past midnight. Researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital did a study. They say our neurons are not firing at their best in the early morning hours. Mm -hmm. And that could lead to a higher risk of suicide, violent behavior, using alcohol or drugs, or overeating. There are exceptions, of course. According to the study, some people are naturally night owls, and they thrive after midnight, and others who work overnight shifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about waking up at 2, 3 in the morning? Yeah. Where's yeah. the study for I that? I don't know where if, we, if there is included in the study. Um, oh, boy. Number one, a man who survived a hippo attack is sharing his story. Oh, oh no. Boy. His name is Paul Templer. He's a canoe safari guide in Africa. I don't know that is this, this is him here, on but the I right? think this is just somebody else with a hippo. Okay. Hippo anyway, he was people. on a tour at the time when a young bull hippo attacked oh. his canoe boy. and he fell into the water. Oh no. Templer says the next thing he knew, the water exploded and everything went dark. 
He said in his words, All right. it was slimy, slippery, yeah. wet, Ew. it smelled like a rotten egg. I'm so <gasps> far down his throat, and I'm not a small guy. Oh, so I managed to grab a hold of the tusks <gasps> and pull myself out <gasps> and burst to the <laughs> surface. The attack continued. Oh no. And went on for a while. Templer ultimately lost his arm. Oh boy. And has lots of injuries. But he survived to tell his tale. Wow. Wow. Those hippos. They will. Oh, you got it. Almost every I mean, time. he had to pull himself out of his throat. And that was a <gasps> baby hippo. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's probably the only reason he survived. Yeah. Terrifying. Now let's Nature. wrap it up. Da -da 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 -da. Time mm. for the weather. Woo!